next to the house of the painter lies the home of the French medical surgeon Marcal Paris, who moved to Portugal in the beginning of the 19th century to perform his rewarding job. After the house was left 15 years ago, it has been untouched ever since. And today, we we'll give you a glimpse into his interesting life. We told you in our other video. Yeah, we, we just like, you see that roof behind the trees? That's literally the house we just explored and those were the neighbors. Yeah, and right now we first want to check out what is over here. So this looks like a shed, but we really don't know. Let's Maybe it's an entrance, we never know. But it's open, so that's cool. Oh, yeah. All right, so Danny is already inside, but take a look. This is so cool. I never saw something like this before. Danny, where are these wine cellars? Yeah. But they are so big, man. Yeah. They are so huge. No, me neither. I never saw them this big. Stand next to one so we can... <laughs> yeah, look. Really, really huge. So actually within the wine cellars there was no entrance to the house. But take a look. And there is a door opened. But, wow. This building. It's pretty huge and actually really beautiful from the outside. Well, let's not wait any more longer and let's go inside and take a look. All the stuff that's left over here. What is this? Oh, just some glass plates. Over here, a big water rope. And this was a mealer of something, I guess. I don't know if I say it exactly correct, but it was to grind something. Yeah. Hey, you can even go up there. Oh, it's for the wine. Oh, it's for the wine, yeah. actually. Okay, so actually these signs, Danny just explained to me, it says uh, clinical and surgery. So probably the person that lives inside of here, he had to do something with medicine, like a medicine, uh, like a doctor or yeah, a chirurg, like a surgery man. Okay, really cool. Well, all right, let's continue. Over here, we have another room. But there is not many interesting stuff inside. I don't know, it was just storage liquids, I guess. And now we actually go to the house. Whoa, completely overgrown by nature. And then take a look at these beautiful pillars over here. Well, I better watch my step. Oh, look! lantern and a beautiful ceiling man this actually looks pretty new this doesn't look that old at all I'm stuck again all right ah so over there is the door You've probably been wondering where I was. Well, I was checking out this house and let's give them a tour, man. Let's give them a little inside. So this was just a hallway. Two empty rooms, which is, are not really interesting, but you can show it to them. 
Oh, okay. Well, there is actually one interesting thing. It's look. Same in the other house. Yeah, it's literally the same. But after all, they are empty. Yeah, and it looks like a homeless person slept here because the mattresses. Yeah. So we think that this house must have been abandoned for around five to ten years because there's pretty much no webs. Also a good sign and you know this place hasn't been touched by many people. And this is, uh, was the bathroom, Fiona's. Oh this one actually looks really nice. It does. Still pretty clean as well. Yeah. I already told that uh, the ceiling and the pillars, they also looked really new. Mm -hmm. They looked really good. They did, yeah. down here. What does this say? Hmm. Oh, I think I know what it means. Wait. Mm, yeah, now you can read it probably. So I think it means at my house and at my world. Oh. Mm, Moreno. Really good from you. <laughs> You're learning fast. <laughs> a little bit, a little bit. But if it's all closed, like look at this hallway and all these closed wooden doors. I really like that, how they have, have thought about making this, you know? Yeah, it's really cool. Take a look from over here, as you can see. Yeah, it looks like a Harry Potter movie or something, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. This was a small dining room over here, the people used to eat. Refrigerator of the brands. General Electric, I have not seen it before, maybe it's a Spanish or Portuguese brand, but it sounds to me like an American or an English brand. And is there still something inside? Oh, but it's blue from the inside. Whoa. That's cool, also take a look at the freezer thing. The ice cube holder. Yeah. <laughs> Actually the inside looks really American, you know? This is copper, I think. It's cool. I'm glad I opened this one. Yeah. There are some, some files here left. Let's see if we can find the name of the family we used to live in this house. Well, actually the man probably should have been like a, a doctor or like a surgery man, you know? Okay. Well, I think he also was a musician. I saw a room. We're gonna show it in a minute. This room looks absolutely pristine from the inside and has a beautiful piano. So. I think he also definitely loves music, or she of course, it can be a he, it can be a she, I don't know, let's see, man, I can't read any words of it. Yeah, we really have to ask Danny. No, but just how it's written, you know, Yeah. very unclear. Mwah. Let's, uh, let's wait for Danny. <laughs> <laughs> Our uh, personal translator. This was the kitchen and has been decaying a lot. You can oh. see this, floor, uh, this house has only one floor, that's the roof. And like the ceiling, the concrete ceiling, and, and has just fallen out of blocks. Just blocks where everything is pulverizing. Mm. That's so sad. It has fallen everywhere into the kitchen. Like yeah. the furnaces, on the sink. As you can see over here. It's still pretty clean, and then over there, all the blocks. They need this little cup. It says salsa. <laughs> Do you think they used to have salsa sauce in this, like a little cup? <laughs> I really don't know. And man. then they just put it on all the food, like, oh, I'm a Portuguese. I just put salsa sauce on all my dishes. <laughs> the other side. This. Uh, was used to meal uh, the coffee beans, I think. Yeah. <coughs> Arroz. Do you know what it means? No. And 
is there still, oh, literally everything is left. And also kitchen equipment. I don't know what it is exactly. Man, I just can't figure out, like, the stuff that is left over here. I just can't figure out what it was. You know, in Belgium, I always know, okay, it was this, know, it was I this. I have the same struggle, bro. I have the same struggle. This one won't open, but yeah, well, it's not too interesting. I think these are also like some bakery equipment, you know? I think they used to bake a lot as the, well. The, you know what these uh, look like? Uh, you know the pasta de nata, like the small cups? No, I don't know it. No pasta de nata? Am I stupid now? Bro, you eat it yesterday. No, that's pasta carbonara. No, pasta de nata in the morning. Okay, so we just had a quick conversation. Yeah, I know it. I've had it for breakfast. It's a typical Portuguese dessert. And it has the same shape, so I think they used to bake them in these shapes, and they all have different sizes as well. Yeah. And let's, there's another cupboard, and literally all the mugs they are still hanging there. And I um, noticed that in Portugal, it's very common to like hang them all up. On yeah. The sports, you know. We saw it in the in the American house, if I'm correct. Yeah, we saw it also in the tavern. Yeah, we yeah, saw yeah. It a lot, bro. That's r it's so strange that like all the different countries and all the different places we see of this world they all have different types of style yeah, in the they houses just have a different style of how they put all the furnishments inside it's cool though it's very cool yeah I mean, if everything was the same you will get bored of these abandoned places yeah of course of course so this used to be their living room and there's another beautiful retro television left well let's have a closer look well first catch my eye on this Church, I yeah, guess. It's a church. Oh, this is really cool, man. Should there be something underneath it? Oh, what's this? I think it used to have a bell or something. Yeah, yeah, it was. Uh, you can see. I don't know if we can start it's, it. It's it's for music. Wait, wait a second. You see this part? Yeah, it's Dutch. I no, know. no, but this thing just twist it. Ave Maria. So it doesn't work anymore, but it used to be a music box. We thought it was a little stator or something. This is from the brand Fidelis. Hmm. I don't know it. No. It's definitely not a Dutch or a Belgian brand. And look how old it is. It's so cool. This shelf is really cool. Come have a closer look, like the books, but then this. I think this was an old radio, I'm not sure of it, but these, I think this was the woman who used to live inside this place back in the younger days and when she was older. Actually, this picture, that is the same woman within the other building. I thought so too, so maybe these two buildings were owned by the same woman. And maybe first she lived there, then she lived there, or the two buildings had two other purposes, you know? Whoa, pretty but strange. I also found this, take a look. Ah, wait. Oh yeah, now you can see it properly. Yeah, there are shelves and everything inside. And it, it, do you see the red thing? It's yeah. a shrimp. Yeah, I know. Yeah. <laughs> All seal animals and it even says Portugal here. I think it was a souvenir. Souvenir. Yeah, you can see it. Oh, that's really cool, man. Let's take a look at the dates of the, of the magazines. So it's actually dated from 1967, the 8th of December. Yeah, as you can see it right in the middle, 1967. That's a very old one. Then all these chairs just randomly positioned against the walls. And over there this one broke. And then all these chairs. In the middle of the room, beautiful land. It's hanging still on the wall, but I think in a few years it will just eventually have been fallen down. Yeah. I'll see this chair. I like it. It's a green pillow. Right, so 
There is a bed inside. There is. <laughs> I don't know if it's gone, but. No, I think it's under the chimney there. And then if we take a look at this hallway, it looks like an apocalypse broke up. But there's many envelopes and letters. So I think the man put the name of the owner is on it. And it is. So it was actually a doctor, man. Yeah? It's saying here, Dr. Francisco Jose. Okay, okay. So the family Francisco lived there. The man was a doctor. I don't know if he was a GP or he just worked in a hospital, but I guess he worked in a hospital because this was just his living room and just his living house. And yeah, this room also looks very post-apocalyptic. Yeah. Man, what happened over here? I don't know. You can't tell the exact purpose of this room because I think some things have been stolen or emptied out. Oh. oh I think this was the mother of the doctor. Yeah. Man. man, that's an old painting. Actually, it is a painting. Actually, behind this one is a ship. Oh. The cover is just really nice, as you can see. But what is also really cool is look, these doors. It looks like it's like a closet, but it's but just a door to the other hallway or the other room. Yeah, that's pretty crazy. Be careful with your head. Yeah, <laughs> I felt it. And what was I bumping on? This beautiful lamp. <laughs> okay. And over here you have the same doors, but here it isn't actually a closet. Oh, and there is definitely some stuff left. Some little cups. This is uh, nice to tell you. In Portugal, people drink very small cups of coffee. And that's because the coffee is a lot stronger here in Portugal. So they just have a smaller size of the cups. And it's approximately this size. Okay, so we venture away to the next rooms of this building. There's some traces of vandalism here, but this is absolutely really cool. It looks like a vault. But I'm not sure if it is a fall, but this is a key. I don't think you can open it with a key, man. As you can see, it also has like these three codes on it. Yeah. And, man. The eagle. This looks like a, the second World War eagle, but I don't think it is. No, it can't be, man. Oh, I thought you opened it, but... No, I wanted to move. It, like to feel if it's heavy but this is heavy this is definitely a vault or a safe whatever you would call it but like how it's made it's very very cool for a safe normally it's only iron you know yeah or just metal but this is definitely it suits the interior you know yeah like for sure like a decoration it's cool this is a strange room oh wait this is Probably vandalized or stolen. Yeah, as you can see, there is a lot of stuff oh on the God. ground. Take a look at the ceiling, though. Whoa. Man. Oh, this is beautiful. And this just actually looks so good. It's, this looks fresh, man. It does. And it has a wall circle. Everywhere goes yeah, as you can see around there in the corner and over here, all these patterns. Okay, but now you're gonna see the best in the last of this house. Just walk through this door and then Whoa. see that gem of a room. Oh, and was there was bad. the bed. Man, <laughs> oh. it was like, you know, like, you think, oh, everything's beautiful, everything's okay, and then do, 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 you know? <laughs> oh, That really shocked me, man. I don't know where he is. I think we shocked him with the light, you know? I think so, too, for our voice. Yeah, close the door, close the door. I want to film this beautiful room. Well... Oh my, this is so beautiful. You know what I like? These very old pictures. 
but you can tell these people they have Portuguese or Spanish background because they look so different with the moustache and everything. I think this definitely was the man. Definitely yeah. was the doctor in his suit. He looks like a wealthy person, definitely for back in his days. Yeah, and definitely for in Portugal. It was very wealthy looking. Oh, and this looks like Einstein, but it isn't. <laughs> oh, yeah, indeed. <laughs> it really looks like Einstein. And actually, over here is another picture, and I don't know if it's the exact same man. Look at his curly mustache. Yeah, but he has a really curly mustache. It's different, man. A little boot. I think this is about a doctor. This, this is just a reading book. Man, what's this? Oh, this is a religious artifact. Oh yeah. And then the piano. Like only looking at the keys, you can tell it has been decaying for a pretty long time. So I don't expect this piano to still work, but you know us, we always check it out. This key is stuck, this one as well. It's completely stuck. Oh, no. It's not completely stuck, but it's pretty broken, unfortunately. But You can hear that the tones just stay in too long, that is stuck. And then all the music notes. And this was the main door of this house. Man, the DK. Alright, so that was it for this house. And actually, this house belonged to the owner from the other house. We think so. But the man that lived inside of here. He was a very wealthy doctor, so that's really cool. And the piano, it was beautiful. We were looking for that room, so if you heard us talking about, man, this isn't the place, this is what we definitely were looking for. And if you like it as much as we did, as always, like, subscribe, comment down below, ring the bell notification button, and then we will see you guys next time.